G'day guys, it's Stuart here from Dougie Worth's Tackle World down on the Gold Coast. Well, I'm doing the fishing report today all by myself because Dougie is in Sydney at the boat show teaching, well, he's explaining to people how to deep drop. And uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting thing. Obviously, if you are down there watching, we do have people everywhere that do watch these reports. Um, yeah, pop down and see Dougie and he will give you the insight into deep dropping around town. However, um, me tonight, we're just going to do the fishing report. So really quick first one, guys. Unfortunately, we've got very bad weather. We've had bad weather for the previous week. Um, over the weekend, there was a little bit of a window for guys to get out there and do a bit of kingy jigging and stuff like that that we did to talk about last week. But this week, um, doesn't look like any chance of that happening on Saturday. However, Sunday doesn't look too bad and early next week is looking quite okay. Um, but first things first, you got to check the Wave Rider boy before you go out there as we've got some big swell coming and just definitely check the um, seaway and that size of that swell in the morning before you go. Um, fortunately, we do have a high tide early. Um, so if you are going to leave early, you'll probably be able to sneak out on that high tide. But um, just remember, you're probably going to be coming back on the run out tide. Definitely keep an eye on it and don't do it if you have any queries. So um, moving along, but so fishing wise offshore this past week's obviously been blowing out. Not a lot of reports, um, but before that weather did turn, definitely still heaps of kingies up on that northeast 50s area. Um, up around FAD 13 type of way. Uh, a little bit further north, there's a couple of ledges up there. If you're unfamiliar with the area, pop in store, we're happy to help um, and put you in the right direction. Um, but jigging has definitely been the standout. So knife jigs again. Uh, we had a couple of fellas, hadn't done too much jigging, bought a couple of jigs off us, went out there and caught a few um, amberjack and a few kingies. So again, nice long ones there. Um, around that 150 to 250 gram size, but they are long, you can work them quite fast and they're not too hard on you fishing as an angler. So, because they're very um, hydrodynamic, not a lot of drag and they are quite easy to use. Um, if not, those little fellas are around say 120, 150 gram, still an okay size, um, definitely still gonna put fish in the boat. Um, look, if that wind does drop out like it's supposed to and the swell is, um, and the current, sorry, is still pretty slow. Um, look, you can fish 80 grams in that 80 meters, but it does does take a long time to sink down. So just keep that in mind. Um, for guys that want to travel a little bit further, obviously maybe not this weekend, Sunday possibly, if you've got a decent sized boat at this stage. Um, if not early next week, deep droppings have been quite good. Um, lots of flame stuff are being caught, bar cod, the odd bass groper, and that type of thing. And um, just again, on our little pre-made rigs that we make here in the store, um, UV line, massive thing, and just run a little blue light on top of that when you clip on your rig, uh, which we do sell in store as well, and um, little circle hooks, and they work an absolute treat. They catch just about anything out there in that depth. So that's out wide, and if you are going out wide, guys, it's that time of year, I definitely have a um, stick bait rod or something around that seven to eight foot size, um, 50 to 80 pound braid rigged with a stick bait on, like one of those little rocket dives. That's a Shimano one there. Um, definitely have it rigged and ready just in case you see any birds working and yellowfin tuna schools moving through. So this time last year, we kind of started seeing a few numbers come through and there's already been a couple caught by the guys that are chasing marlin out wide. So a couple caught last week during that couple of days of half or right weather that we had. And um, yeah, definitely have your rods red, rigged and ready just in case you come across one of those schools out there. So um, moving back in now. So around the fads, lots of dolphin fish around those 50 fathom fads and the 36 fathom fads as well. Size wise, pretty average still around that say 50 to 75 centimeter type size with some smaller ones in the mix as well. Um, again, little stick baits aren't too bad. Little um, divers, so these are a little sinking um, minnow or a sinking diver. They're a little new one from Shimano. Uh, nice and small, heavy, so you're going to get a good cast out of it. You can sink that down if the fish are a little bit deep and work that back to the boat. They are bound to catch a couple. I always have one of them rigged on one of my rods when I'm out there. Little sinking hard bodies. And um, yeah, there's some days where they just won't eat bait, but they'll eat lures really well. So definitely worth an option. Um, if not, float line in half pillies, no weight just a little 4-0 octopus hook 
and um, some light fluorocarbon leader and you're bound to put a few in the boat as well. So um, coming back in a bit closer now, so around the 24s and the 18s, um, look, it is still snapper pearl perch closure, so you can't keep snapper or pearlies. Uh, you're not supposed to target them either, but um, there has been some bycatch of them for guys that are chasing other bottom fish, um, doing a bit of live baiting. There's still a few Spanish around, and um, there's a fair few long tail tuna as well. Um, so liveies, try to keep your baits up closer to the surface. There seems to be a fair few mac tuna, and the mac tuna are generally a bit deeper. So on some days, um, long tail are definitely down deep as well. But at the moment, the long tails seem to be above the Mac Turner school. So try not to put a massive sinker on. Just float your bait out there, lightly weighted, and um, hopefully you get a long tail instead of a Mac Turner. If not, if you want to just do a little bit of jigging, chase a few of those reefies like Tuskies and that type of thing, Moses Perch, all that stuff that you can still keep. Um, the little ball jigs are pretty hard to go past. There are a couple of new ones from Japan that we've been getting in and um, really good quality, good quality hooks. They are quite small hooks, but they are big enough. So we still catch legal size, um, like very good size snapper and stuff like that on very small hooks when you're allowed to. And um, yeah, they're definitely the small, they're definitely big enough and they're definitely strong enough. Um, apart from that, definitely worth putting a live bait right on that bottom and um, you are definitely a chance of catching a nice dewy at the moment. So around the blocks up off Stratty, lots of dewies up that way. And um, if not, just around the 12 fathom bait reef and 17 fathoms, there's been a fair few dewies as well. Uh, coming in closer now, so around the seaway, we'll start down here this week. Um, obviously big swell, so watch out when you are going out. Um, last week and even a couple of days this week, it was closing out right across the bar on that run out tide uh, with that bigger swell. So definitely keep an eye out. Um, but in this big swell, there's definitely some good fishing around the entrance. So um, and there's a lot of surge in water. So around the north wall of the seaway, if it is safe to fish it, it's up to your discretion on the day, but um, definitely worth poking your head out around there and throwing little sinking stick baits and metals. So there are a couple of little stick baits that I like to throw for the tailor. Taylor, Trevally, Dart, this time of year, they love that um, rough disturbed water. And on, that, on those bigger tides that we've got at the moment on the new moon, there's definitely a lot of bait around as well. So Definitely worth throwing those stick baits, all little metals, and um, working around that white water, and you're definitely gonna catch a uh, fair few Taylor and Trevally, and a few dart mixed in there, as I said. Um, moving around the corner now, so in towards the broad water, um, definitely a fair few flatties around Crab Island still. So um, casting small soft plastics or trolling little hard bodies when that tide's nice and high of a morning, and then as that tide recedes, troll the drop-offs, um, that you see water feeding off of the flat and washing into, and that's definitely an option to put a few um, flatties on the deck. So small little hard bodies, perfect for your trolling stuff. There are a couple of little Pavlo shads. There are a Shimano one. A uh, couple of cool new, new little colours in there, and um, we've got a couple of other colours on the shelf, of course. They've been working quite well. Good quality hook straight out of the box. No need to change anything, and um, if not, throwing the little plastics up in the shallows on that high tide and working those drop-offs on that run out has definitely been catching them as well. So again, the little S tackle, um, that's the little fishtail minnow. They're not a bad little profile, four inches in size. If not this time of year, I like to fish those weedy drop-offs and stuff with little prawn imitations. So work your lure really slowly, um, cast those little prawns up into that weed. They're lightly weighted or, um, well, the pre-rigged ones are lightly weighted. If not, put a light jig head in there and just fish that little drop off. So that's a little dial one and a little Samaki one. Um, perfect little presentations that absolutely smack them. So um, try a prawn, try those little fishtail minnows or any minnow or any little paddle tail around those drop offs on that run out tide and you're definitely gonna catch a few flatties. Uh, still been a few garries around as well. So the guys that wanna chase garfish, um, perfect for the kids and family. Anchor up, burly up, and uh, fish with some lightly weighted floats and very small hooks and a little bit of peeled prawn. And um, you're definitely going to catch a few gari. So around Crab Island, along those weedy flats is quite good. Back away, break's not too bad as well. And then um, out the front of Land's End type area. So um, near the Coast Guard base there as well. 
So out the front of there, just over the weed, anchor up, try to burly up in a little bit of tide. So you don't want to have fish like a stagnant area um, and they're quite hard to catch on the turn of the tide. They do like a little bit of run because it takes your burly away and it brings them in. So um, that's definitely worth an option. Uh, still a fair few squid down that southern end as well, round out the front of Marina Mirage type of area, Sundale Bridge, um, and along the park at Southport there. Um, not a bad time of year, obviously, and a good tide for it as well. So you've got that um, early morning high tide. So if you get out there nice and early, you'll get them first up, and then all late in the afternoon on that uh, second tide. We'll start working up towards the um, northern end now. Oh, real quick one as well, a few blackfish around the seaway as well. So guys that want a land-based fish, you can uh, fish for blackfish with weed for bait, and that's just standing on the rocks, using a float, and uh, come down in store. We can definitely run through the whole rig and how to do it and where to do it. Um, but definitely a bit of an old pastime. Not many people chase the old blackfish anymore, but definitely a really good fight. So um, another option for the guys that are land-based. Unfortunately, with this um, wind at the, at the moment that's coming through, so surf fishing is going to be pretty out, but um, you might be able to get out there Sunday morning and give it a crack. So moving up around the Aldershots area, so that stretched from Sovereign to Coran, lots of flatties in that area as well at the moment. Again, trolling little hard bodies, throwing the small soft plastics around those drop-offs, um, definitely been providing quite a few. Up around Tiplers, much of the same. So try to find yourself out of the wind up there. Lots of shelter around those middle islands, around the Never Fail Islands. So um, nice and easy to fish on that Saturday as well, even Sunday, any day. But um, if there's a bit of wind, if you can get up there, you can definitely find yourself a nice spot out of the wind. So lots of white bait through that area from say Tiplers to the bar at the moment. So jumping pin bar. So definitely be trolling lures along those drop offs um, on the last of the run in or the first of the run out tide when that water's quite high. And um, try to, if they're little white bait, try to go for a longer slender profile. So there are a couple of the Smith Panishers. These things work an absolute treat. They're a Japanese manufactured lure um, and some awesome colors, full range in sort, um, store at the moment in color wise. And um, they're bound to catch a few as well. And um, if not, if you just want to cast around on that run out tide or vibe in those deeper channels for still flatties, you get some winter whiting up there, brim tarwine, a few little tuskies and little emperors and stuff like that. Little vibes, so those little ZX um, or the little TT blades, they go an absolute treat. And um, just keep it nice and light around that, say, cut anywhere from say five to 10 grams type of thing. So they work an absolute treat. Um, and yeah, so uh, apart from that, up that end, so around Caruso, corner of Caruso, so Tank Bank, the um, Kalinga Bank, all of that area up there, heaps of flatties along there as well on that nice morning high tide. And um, I'd be throwing hard bodies, something quite long, around that 150 mil type size, and uh, just work those shallow waters, so it's a shallow running hard body. And then as that tide recedes, start working the drop off. So again, soft plastics, a couple of other ones that have been working quite good. That's a little ET shad. So again, something a little bit different, but nice and long, lots of wobble in that tail. If not Rapala, Crush City, that little prawn has been an absolute treat as well. So while you're up there early morning, definitely keep an eye out for some tailor chopping around the bar. Um, definitely worth an option and just watch out again, big swell. So um, definitely don't go poking out too far. Run out tight, it's gonna be pretty ugly, but um, keep an eye out for birds working, any birds diving and fish working the bait to the surface. And um, if you don't wanna, so you can troll again, those little lures like for flatties and stuff like that. You can cast around little sinking hard bodies or just cast metals into them as well. So that'll work as well. Um, up in the lagoons up the pin, so northern end of South Stratty, there's been a fair few wide in again. Um, just pump some yabbies or fish worms for bait around those lagoons and you'll catch a few wide in. Over the other side along Kalinga as well, the back end of Kalinga's had a few wide in and um, decent sea brim and stuff like that that have come in from that rough weather. Um, apart from that guys, a few crabs still getting around as well. So. Um, probably worth putting your pots in 
on that early morning tide and you can get back out there and check at the early morning tide the next day. Um, still a few muddies around, if not a few sandies throughout the broadwater and the pin as well. Just try working those drop-offs. So, um, All in all guys, plenty and plenty of options. As, uh, as I said before, make sure you keep an eye on that weather. Um, the wind might be receding, but that swell's still going to be there. Um, definitely check that Gold Coast Wave Rider boy before you make any plans in the morning. Uh, it takes about five minutes to check and it's just an easy thing to check so you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. And um, yeah, until then, we will catch you down here at the same time, same place next week for our next week's fishing report. Um, just a real quick one, guys. We do have a seminar on jigging for kingfish and amberjack held on Wednesday this week. And I think the date is the 7th. So if you um, have any queries, you can either shoot us a message or um, call the store and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions about any of our upcoming seminars. Thanks, guys.